In this video, we are going to compare Intel's Core i3-3220 and the Core i3-4130 processors. So basically, we see Core i3-4130 is 3.4 GHz versus 3220 at 3.3 GHz. That's basically a difference of only about 100 MHz. But uh, so obviously Core i3-4130 is a little bit faster than 3220. But uh, not only uh, the frequency plays a role making it faster, but also the Core i3-4130 is a newer Haswell processor. Uh, 3220 is still the older IV uh, bridge processor. So in the new generation, Intel tweaks its uh, its um, architecture, making it a little faster for even the given the same uh, clock frequency. Um, that's it evident from its uh, pass mark, the benchmark score. So if you can see, even though the frequency difference is uh, only 100 megahertz we see uh, somewhat uh, a 10 percent performance improvement even with a three percent increase in the clock frequency now the bigger difference is in the integrated graphics so so basically uh, core i3 core 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 i3 dash 4130 comes with uh, ST graphics 4400 and i3-3220 comes with the older ST graphics 25000. Uh, compareprocessors.com has some more details comparing these two ST graphics and their performance. But basically, you can expect a 1.5x performance improvement in Core i3-4130. Uh, you can also take a look at the specifications on the Intel site which compares these two processors which I have uh, presented here for your viewing. Uh, so you can see uh, Core i3-4130 versus Core i3-3220. They are Haskell versus Ivy Bridge. That's the code name or their architecture. Uh, we have uh, pretty much the same specifications for processor except that their clock frequencies are different other other specs remain the same but do note that the Haskell comes with a better architecture so it provides improved performance so we slightly have we have a slightly better uh, thermal dissipation power rating for Haskell so marginally better uh, but still it, it's a higher clock at the slightly lower tdp is something that's that, that's only going to be better for it now let's take a look at their hd graphics which basically it's it has slightly lower base frequency which means that it will run cooler if you don't need uh, higher graphics or gaming but if you need to it can clock the frequency uh, to a much higher level. Now, in terms of uh, other uh, features, you ex can expect a newer PCI Express revision, which means uh, potentially a faster uh, PCI data throughput rate. The case uh, frequency capability goes higher, potentially with a with a better packaging. Uh, that's that's all for this. I hope uh, you it's it, it's uh, it's helpful for you to compare. You can visit uh, compareprocessors.com for more detail about these. Um, do do not forget to add any comment about it, good or bad, in the in the comment section below in this YouTube. Thank you for watching.